So what is a wavetable? A wavetable is quite simply a collection of cycles, a collection of different waveforms, if you like. At the very simplest end of things, this wavetable might just contain one cycle or one waveform, such as this sawtooth wave, this sawtooth cycle. What Serum then does is it takes the note I trigger, the note I play, and then it loops this cycle, loops this waveform at a frequency corresponding to the note triggered. So if I press the note E0, which has a frequency approximately 41 hertz, Serum loops this cycle 41 times per second. Remember in physics, hertz means per second, which is so fast you don't hear it as a loop, but instead as a tone. And this is the heart of wavetable synthesis. However, a wavetable containing just a single cycle isn't necessarily that interesting. And so what I could do is choose a wavetable with multiple cycles. And notice in Serum here, if I click this window, the change between 2D and 3D mode, allowing you to better see this wavetable. But you can move through using this WT pause wavetable position. Notice further the number there in the bottom right corner. This tells you the cycle number. Now, here's where things start to get a bit more interesting. If I choose a more complicated wavetable, notice now there are 256 cycles. A complete wavetable, this is the maximum number in Serum. If I then modulate, just a fancy word for change, if I then modulate this wavetable position as I'm playing a note, all of a sudden you get this changing sound. But to better show you what this means, I need to use a spectrum analyzer. As I hold down a single note, a single pitch, and modulate this wavetable position, notice how the frequencies involved don't change, but instead it's their relative heights that change, giving of course different tones, different timbres, but all of which at the same pitch. All of those frequencies are multiples of the pitch, this 41 hertz, and their relative levels determine personality or character, tone or timbre. In other words, when I loop this cycle 41 times per second, the note I press on the keyboard determines which frequencies are involved, but the cycle itself, the shape of this waveform, that determines the relative levels of these frequencies. These frequencies being called harmonics. Because of maths, any cycle looped gives a harmonic sound. Noting further, we as humans hear sounds harmonically. Our ears themselves are hearing individual frequencies, but our brains hear how these are multiples of each other and instead understands it as one tone, one sound, at the fundamental pitch. Thanks for watching.